Welcome back. So our next guest takes on the role of a lifetime in the long-awaited film adaptation of Judy Bloom classic, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. It's a coming-of-age tale that highlights the many milestones of adolescence, like shopping for your very first bra. Take a look. <laughs> Come with me, dear. I'll measure you. Arms up, dear. Hmm. Barely a 28, not even a double A. Your best bet is gonna be to go with one of these okay. grow bras here. So one day when you do grow, it'll grow with you. Okay, thank you very much. Sure. Thanks, we'll just go try it on. <laughs> <laughs> the Simone is getting rave of reviews and we have the star with us today to tell us all about her experience playing the beloved Margaret. Please welcome Abby Ryder Fordson. Welcome to the show. Huge congratulations on landing, landing this incredible role. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. It was written in 1970, and I think it was a part of almost all of our childhood, many people's childhood, a coming-of-age story that is sort of unforgettable. I understand you read it more recently in preparation for yes. this role. What did you think? How did it resonate with you? Oh, my gosh. As soon as I read it, I turned to my parents, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is the experience. How did someone write this down in the 70s? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was so surprised that even though it was was such an older book. It, it it reflected what I had felt growing up, like what I what I still am feeling. And I just related to Margaret so much and I loved the book so so much and meeting Judy on set, oh. it was Oh my gosh, that was She's that the was the, one of the best moments of my life, honestly. It's that a good was, day. That's yes, a good that was day. an excellent day. <laughs> I, I read that when you were auditioning to play Margaret, that you actually brought some of your own props for a particular <laughs> scene. Um, would you share? <laughs> my, yes, I might have done that. Um, in my director session, I do admit that there was a scene. It got cut in the film, unfortunately, but I had to stuff my bra with cotton balls before the big party. <laughs> yeah. So as one does, I brought a bag of cotton balls uh, to stuff my bra in this audition, and I've never heard James L. Brooks laugh that hard before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta feel good. That <laughs> did feel very, very good, you know. Well, it's a perfect segue, thank you for that, uh, because there's an iconic line from the book uh, <laughs> that you and your co-stars all brought to life, so <laughs> let's first take a look. Get up. I must, I must. I must increase my bust. I, I must. must. I must I increase my bust. bust. Chin up. I we must. We must. We must increase our bust. We must. We must. We must increase our bust. We must. We must. We must increase our bust. Listen, um, I heard that while you were shooting that scene, as you mentioned, Judy Bloom herself, who's a producer in the film, yes. was on set. And she's like, no, 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 no. You're doing it the wrong way. <laughs> and I'm going to give yes. you a little demo. So how did that okay. whole thing go down? Basically, it was, I think, one of her first days on set. And we were all kind of, like, nervous. Yeah. Looking back, it's like, is she happy? Because it was her baby for, like, 53 years. She had never, ever, ever wanted anyone else to adapt it. So when she handed it over to us, we were like, OK, she has to be happy with this. Yeah. Judy Bloom has to like this. So the main note that she gave while we were on set was <laughs> that while we were while we were rehearsing um, that scene, Kelly, the way that she had always envisioned it was that we clasp our hands, mm. we go, I must, yeah. I must, I must increase my bust. But as Judy, as Judy uh, explains um, in all of her interviews, uh, she went up to Julie, one of our other producers, and she said, no, wait, they're doing it wrong. No, I have to stop them before they shoot. Um, so she took us aside and taught us how to do it correctly, as you see in the film, which it's more like this. Right. And after, after a couple takes of that, you get a pretty nice arm workout. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. I have some biceps. <laughs> it was excellent. Look, aside from the breast exercises, <laughs> One of my favorite parts in the film is really like the bond between mm. Margaret and her mom, played by Rachel McAdams, and her grandmother, played by Kathy Bates. Because no matter how confusing it gets for Margaret, she knows she has these two women mm -hmm. by her side all at all times. So let's talk about the chemistry that you and these two women, these legends, created <laughs> together. Yeah, so for Kathy, we basically started by writing letters to each other before we had even met in person. Aww. And we wrote letters 
letters back and forth. Oh Actual gosh. handwritten letters. Yes, they still exist. And I, Cursing as a printing. young person, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it was a mix of, my handwriting is disastrous. <laughs> it's horrible. It is a mix between scribbly cursive and printing that you can barely read. So, you know. Yeah. Um, but it was handwritten letters, which we traded back and forth as our characters. Oh. So we builded that bank of stories to really solidify our relationship because yes, the relationship that they have is so wonderful. And I have a wonderful relationship with my own grandma and it's it's perfect. Oh. Um, and then for Rachel, we kind of just met the day we were supposed to oh. shoot. The day before we, Benny, who plays, um, uh, the dad, and then Kathy and Rachel and I, we all sat down in the Simons New York apartment and we kind of talked for about a couple hours. Then the next day we went out to shoot. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think that's kind of what you have to do as an actor. You have to go up to a strange person you've never met, say, hi, you're my mother now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get used to it. We're a family. I now. believed you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of mothers, um, yours is in the audience yes. today. Oh. We don't mean we don't mean to make this awkward for you, but for so many people, like of our generations and other generations, Judy Bloom's book sort of doubled as a parent. Like they guided us through that awkward adolescent stage, so that some of us didn't even need to have the talk with our parents. Oh so, <laughs> did you have to have the talk with your parents, with um, your mother? Unfortunately, you I did not avoid it. It was awkward and very traumatizing. I don't remember half of it because I think my brain is saving me from that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I agree. I think that all of Judy Bloom's books, honestly, but especially Margaret, can totally be uh, either a replacement or even just like a conversation opener. Yeah. If you don't want to sit your kid down, <laughs> hey, honey, we got to talk about this. You can just hand them the book and you talk about it through the character's eyes. So it makes it a lot less awkward. Or now they can watch the movie. Abby, you are yeah. wonderful and yeah. congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a must see and it hits theaters today. So make sure you check it out. Up Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.